So I would assume you had the same problem as me. You want to help multiple clients, but you don't want to rewrite your own USB stick every single time. Here I have a 64 gigabyte USB stick. And normally I would have Windows 11 on this one, but sometimes people want Windows 10 just because Windows 11 doesn't support the computer or because it's too heavy for the system. Well, of course I can solve these problems, but what I can also do is get Windows 11 and 10 on this USB stick. So here I have um, Windows 11 English and Windows 11 Dutch. And here I have Hiram's Boot, which is the best tool I would say to help people from the background on their computer. Let's say they forgot their password. Um, you need to search on the web, but you can't access your computer yet. And many things like that. It has many utility points, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video. I'm going to show you how to boot to all of these USB sticks just on one USB stick and you never have to change anything. Go to the link in the description, which will take you to this download page on Fantoy. And here you have to choose your own OS. It's available for Windows and Linux. I'm sorry, macOS users. I don't see macOS here. No, I don't. But here it's available for Windows. So that's the video I'm making. Here it's going to take you to Source Forge. And let's click here on the download latest version. After doing this, it's going to your own downloads list right here. I would assume that you have knowledge of this. If you're making a multi USB tool or you just want to run like a million Linux ISOs and I don't know, you just like your distros, I guess. And here you go. It's going to start and then it thanks you for downloading Fentoy. It's going to your download list. It's not going to my downloads list. This is because I have a free download manager. I've actually made a video about, when, uh, about that one. You can actually check it out. It's on the channel. I'm just going to go and open this by going to the downloads folder. This is where you're going to find it. You have to extract it the first time. There you go. And let's click here on extract and show extracted files when complete. This means it's automatically going to open the folder. Here you go. And here are Fantoy. And then we have all the tools right here. The next thing you have to do is to put your USB stick in your computer. I would assume that you already know how to put your USB stick in a computer correctly the first time. Instead of doing it a million times and it is not the correct position. I don't know. Everybody makes mistakes. Don't worry about it. Here we have Fentoy and I've put in my USB stick. Here is my own USB stick and I've actually made a video about how to install Windows 11 and 10 the easiest way actually in 10 minutes. So I'm just going to remove that volume so I can create a new partition. Let's click here, right click on new volume, I mean on the thing and then new volume. And now I can click on next, then allocate how much size, I'm going to click on next. Then we have the own uh, allocated letter. So here we have the text. I'm just going to call it USB. It doesn't really matter because we're going to need to format it a little bit with that first you have to allocate all the space. After doing this, it should be able to change. They go USB and that's how much size it is. Next thing you have to do is to open fantoy to disk.exe. Double click on it and I give permissions by clicking on yes. After doing this, it's going to open fantoy to disk right here. So to 32 bit x86. I don't know why. A. I know I never said 64, this said 64, I'm blind. Doesn't really matter. Here is the USB stick and it is not a petition, it's actually the USB stick itself. My mistake. Windows installation, Windows installation confused me. Okay, option. And then you can actually choose to do secure boot. This means that of course you can go and install uh, Windows 11, which actually needs this. Uh, petition style, go on MBR if you want to go the most secure and GPT, sometimes it's needed. Normally it doesn't, it's actually all for only for older systems. Here we have partition configuration. What I like to do is to preserve some space at the end of my disk. So let's say I have a 64 gigabyte disk, it was about 58. I'm actually gonna allocate, so set apart 25 gigabytes. You can select it here. The gigabytes is selected right here instead of the MB and the megabytes. And I don't want to align partitions with a uh, 4KB. You can actually choose the file system. I'm going to keep it at XFAT. It's fine. And here I've preserved some space at the end of my disk. So click here on OK. And after doing this, select your disk and click here on Install. This is going to install the multi boot tool and not the ISO itself. You have to drag it to the folder in the disk. I mean, not to the folder, but to the disk itself. Click here on OK. I mean, yes, if you want to agree that all your uh, petitions on the USB stick are going to be formatted. Do know that you're removing everything from the disk. So if you ha had, made a, had made a petition, it's going to be removed right now. So make sure you backup everything. 
It should actually be pretty fast. There you go. Congratulations. It has been installed to the disk. It's going to be way faster if you have a faster drive on your PC and a faster USB drive, which you can normally see with the color on the inside. I'm just going to show it right now. Here you go. Wait, mine is blue. That means that it's a 3.0 USB drive and it's way faster. After doing that, you can actually close this, go to this PC and you will see your disk right here. This is not the allocated space. This is the space you want to put in your ISO files. An ISO file is for example Windows 11 installation. Here I have English and here I have Dutch. And I have also a Hirons boot. This also means a Linux. This also means a Mac OS Pirate version, but let's not talk about that. Anything you can imagine where you can boot on, that means run it as an installation or an OS. There are multiple uh, ways of IO ISOs. You can also put it on the SD, CD, I mean, it's actually where it comes from. But let's drag everything here to the folder, I mean, into the USB drive itself. So here are Fentoy, I just have to drag it right here by copy pasting it. And after doing that, it's going to drag everything to the USB drive. I'm going to show you where the preserved space is. You just have to type part here and you will see create a format hard drive, a hard disk partitions. But you can also right click here on the start menu and then go to disk management right here. And actually notice that my camera is dead. There you go, the camera is working again. Here we have disk management. Here you have your own Fentoy. This is where you put all the bootable ISOs or some extra stuff. What I actually normally do, it's because it can be separated. Here I can put some other things. Here we have a new volume. Just right click on it, create a new volume. And here you can allocate everything, create an E drive letter and they call it usb uh, storage for example if i can type the word there you go let's click on next finish and now it's going to be a separate space on the same usb drive of course it's going to take a little bit longer just because i'm dragging files to the usb drive and then changing some positions on the usb drive it's going to take a moment oh, while we're waiting you can actually like and subscribe right now just because if you like i know you like this video i'm going to make more content about this and if you subscribe you have a bigger community where i can show more content too so you're actually helping everyone in the it space and hey i really want to show you how hardware works you know like how to make your own computer how to build it how to design it how to take apart your laptop don't do that without someone who was understanding about it and not they say of understanding about it just test them you know knowledge experience i've actually about six to seven years in the it space experience um i've repaired a lot of computers hundreds maybe <laughs> i don't know anymore i'm going to need to wait until this is all complete oh it's lo it looks like the my petition is done creating but after it's done i'm going to show you what happens if you boot to this usb drive and how fentor looks like how to select the other ISO file you've put on it. So now it's all complete. You will see Fentor right here. And after doing that, you should be able to see all of your ISO files. These are the files you can actually boot on. So let me show you how to boot on them. The first thing you have to do, of course, is have to USB stick in the computer. After doing this, you have to go to the start menu right here, then click on this power button. It's all the same with Windows 10, by the way, but it's right here. Now you have to hold down shift and then click the left mouse button and hold down your shift the whole time. While holding it down you should be able to say C please wait. It's going to close all applications just let it do everything. And now it's going to restart your computer. It should be able to go to the advanced options menu. There you go. It says please wait and your windows icon should be right here. And I should have a laptop like me. Or a different motherboard but depends of course. There you go. This is the startup menu with advanced options. So let's go and choose a USB device. You can actually use your pointer keys and then press enter with the selection. Here, you don't see my USB drive. To fix that, I can actually go back, pressing on this icon, then go to troubleshoot, go to advanced options, go to UAV firmware settings. This should be able to take you to your own BIOS. BIOS stands for Basic Input and Output System. This is where everything starts up from your own computer before it goes to Windows. This is my own BIOS. The thing I have to do is go to Boot right here. 
you should be able to see boot on your PC, otherwise you have to go to advanced options, and otherwise just comment down below, and I will try to help you the best as I can. Here we have boot options. Number one is the one it's going to boot on the first. So in primary, secondary, and of course the third. So here I have boot options, and I should be able to see USB hard disk, there you go, UAV, my send disk, hard disk, partition two. And I'm just gonna select that before I boot it to Windows, this means that every single time I put in my USB disk, it's going to start up on that one and not my, on my Windows. Now I have to go to save and exit. There you go. Go to save changes and reset. Just press enter and let's select yes right here. After doing this, your PC is going to restart again, but this time it's going to start up on your USB drive. There you go. Go to start up and now you will see this. This can actually happen with CentOS sometimes because secure boot is on. I'm just going to press enter and it's going to reboot again. So let me show you how to fix that. This is because my system is secured enough to think that this is an unsecured USB drive. But we can actually fix that. Just press escape. I'm pretty sure. There you go. And now it's going to restart again. Go back. This is because it couldn't choose the USB drive. The thing I have to do right now is go to security. Go to secure boot right here. Select it, there you go, select it, and then you see here, secure but support, let's turn this off. We only have to do this once. After doing that, go to save and exit, and go to save changes and reset. By the way, if you are done with the Ventor, turn on secure boot again, because Windows 11 needs it. There you go. It's going to start up again, and now we see Ventor after turning off secure boot. Here you see three options, Hiram's boot, Windows 11, and Windows 11 Dutch. Uh, this is because I repair Dutch clients' computers and Hiram's boot. I'm going to show you for a second where pressing enter and then boot in normal mode, just like this, pressing enter. And it's going to take me, take me to Hiram's boot. If you're interested about this, I really want to make a video about this. It's going to load files. It's pretty much Windows 11, but on the USB stick, but it's not the same. It's going to remove everything you do. It's all stored in the memory. But I'm not going to talk too much about it in this video. Let's go to start up Windows 11. Howard's Boot is a tool where you can use the utilities to help your client's computer with uh, password management, uh, disk management, um, check internet connection, everything like that. It has all the tools. Let me show you. Let's go to initialize everything. You can also test, for example, the CPU of the system, the RAM, the GPU, everything like that. You put it in a computer and you have all the tools accessible only by you by the USB stick we have right here. Now you will see this. It should be a really weird scaled windows and my mouse is very fast. But here we have utilities, for example. And here I have, for example, security, system tools, removable drive, network. You can actually test it all here. Go to Google if you need to. You just have to connect to the internet because um, I don't have Wi-Fi right now. It's because I don't have a internet connection. I can't go to the internet, but for the rest, there are many tools here you can use. For example, administrative, you can actually check the disk management. There you go. This is the same as before. You see my fan toy right here and the USB storage I made, my own four terabyte disk, but I'm actually booted on this disk right here. You can also go to security here for an antivirus and here you can easily scan for antiviruses on this system. So here I can select that, for example, oh, the client has problems with this computer, it's probably a virus. Let's do that, uh, just, yeah, just do that. <laughs> it's very annoying, feedback, okay. Here we have full scan, uh, here we quick scan, here you go. Uh, yes, I actually want to quarantine everything, start. There you go, this is actually a very useful tool. It's going to scan the whole system, including my four terabyte drive, which is the reason why I'm doing this. For example, if you have to help a client. Of course, I'm not going to talk about Hyrule's boot in this video. I hope you enjoyed it with Fantoy, the multi-boot USB drive tool you can use to boot on multiple ISOs, for example, your Linux distros, your Windows, um, like a different language, different Windows, whatever you want. You can put anything on it and it's going to boot it very easily. Consider liking and subscribing right now. This means I'm going to make more content about this video and comment down below if I said anything wrong. I'm sorry that I maybe spoke really fast. It's the caffeine. <laughs> if I said anything wrong, just let me know. I'm going to react to it and to thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, everybody.